Welcome to Staycation Day. It's Port Orleans Riverside time. Never stayed here before. First time. Been here a lot. I've never seen a room. Let's go do it. There is something very nice about value and moderate resorts here at Walt Disney World is that their turnover rates for the rooms are insanely, insanely fast. My room was already ready at like 8 a.m. in the morning here for French Quarter, which is actually insane. When every time when I stay at a deluxe, they're usually not ready, but believe it or not, I have never stayed here before. This is like my third last um, Disney Resort to check off of. We still have got um, um, the Fort Wilderness Campgrounds, never stayed there, probably will stay in a cabin. Then we also have never stayed in the Treehouse Villas, if you count that as a, a separate Disney Resort. But welcome to French Quarter. We're gonna check out a room, have a nice day, have chilled staycation here. By the way, I might be uploading this while I'm on the Disney Wish. Have no idea, this is kind of a backup vlog for me. But uh, welcome to French Quarter. Let's go check out the room and have a nice day here. Coming in at a weird spot, um, I just parked over there because I'm building number seven. Here's the bus stops. It's right at the, at the front. That's a nice thing about this resort versus uh, Riverside. Riverside is so ginormous. French Quarter is like the sister neighbor resort to that. You can actually walk on over to Riverside. We might do that tonight. We've come here before and have some beignets, but like I said, I've never stayed here before. Comment down below if you guys have. Finally, checking this one off. Super excited, to say the least. But yeah, like I was saying, I might be on the Disney Wish. This might be up after the Disney Wish. I don't really know. Check my Instagram and Twitter for updates. Hopefully we're not having some upload issues on the Disney Wish with their Wi-Fi. It's a brand new ship, but just letting you guys know that might be the case. Usually there's a greeter out here. I don't really see one. Here we go. Do you guys have valet here? Oh, a bowel service is out here. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Well, let's go check out the lobby. I do want to head on over to the room because we've kind of seen this resort in a way, but it's more magical now since we are technically staying here. We'll come back here, check it out, because I want to head out to the room. I want to find that. It smells great. Let's head this way. This might just be like one long whole take as we walk to the room here. If you didn't know, French Quarter themed to uh, the one and only Mardi Gras. I've actually never done that. Oh, my sister's calling me right now. We're gonna do one take, walking. This is what I used to do when I came to Disney. I used to like record non-stop. Um, but a little bit about French Quarter is that she opened in, uh, I want to say 1999, no, 1991, and it's themed obviously around the city of New Orleans, the French Quarter with plenty of Mardi Gras fun. Theming all around. Let's check out the map because I don't really know where Building 7 is. Oh, we're way over there. We got quite the walk to do, and here's, we stayed here before. Like, look at the size comparison. Look at how big. Riverside is British French Quarter. We've got the Sasagula River, best way to get to Disney Springs. Um, holy cow, we have to walk far. We are literally right here. Do you guys want to walk with me? You might as well, right? Let's do it together. Let's go. Maybe I won't walk the whole way. I don't know. Maybe I'll make this video a little bit different from my other ones because I feel like that might be boring for you guys. I guess we'll find out, right? trying new things, doing new things. That's the main food court, the Sasagula Food Factory. It's where you can get your beignets. Nice thing about this resort is it's quiet. Super nice, okay. I know I've uh, said it before and I've asked you guys, I'm pretty sure if you guys notice, obviously it's like, you know, French Quarter themed. But the doors are all different. You see that the doors are different colors. And I think that's like, obviously it's, you know, it's themed to um, New Orleans. And I think they're different colors so that 
when you come home from uh, Mardi Gras, you know what door is yours. You know, you might have too much adult beverages in your body. And obviously it's mimicking that in New Orleans. I should know that. Here's a nice little courtyard. This is where they're going to have those movies. It's where the children activities are at night. So every, every night they'll have a movie here. I think we got a little small refurbishment going on right over here. Yeah, let me know down below if you guys like this little walk to the room. I always say it's like my favorite aspect of a staycation. Finding out where your room is. But I've never really kept a long clip in it in the vlog like this. It's kind of cool. It's like a live stream in a way. I don't know. You guys will be the, the, the deciding factor. Let me know your opinions. Hopefully I'm holding it pretty well as well. The camera doesn't have the best stability, but you know, it is what it is. Let me see here. We are going the right way. I think we're like the last building. Here we are, building seven. Cleaning in progress. I can hear it. Oh, look at that. I feel every time I come to this resort, they're always power washing. We're gonna go up these stairs. They do have, I believe, three elevators in every building. Oh, this is pretty. Check this out, guys. So you're gonna have power washing in the background. It's kind of annoying. Ah, oh, would you look at that? Our number's actually on the sign. This way. And this way, oh, I think we're gonna have a parking lot view. Are we? Yeah, that's a shame. Um, cool thing about this, <laughs> this resort is there really isn't that many rooms with a parking lot view. We just got the short end of the stick it looks like. I don't know, I don't know maybe we'll be a little surprised. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't go to desk, I always check in the day before, link a card, tell when I'm gonna arrive. I use my phone, it's the simplest way. Oh, this is mighty interesting. Well, we technically don't have a parking lot view, but we technically, technically do. There is our room. Here's our lovely view. It's kind of convenient to just go get our car, but I usually prefer a nice and scenic view. Oh, it's brown. We have a nice tan door. I kind of wanted a red door. There's a red door. All right, let's go on in and check this room out. See if it's dated or not, because I actually have no idea what these look like. Most of you guys know how this works. Very simple. Let's go ahead and, will we get the first try? <gasps> we did, wow, that's rare. Oh, cool. You're probably wondering what I'm saying, oh, cool to you. This room isn't bad, actually. It smells like a Disney room. Oh, we have a connecting door right there. I'm taking off my backpack, my back is hurting. Really bad, actually, today. This is what I'm saying all cool to. Look, they gave us Mardi Gras bees, but in the shape of a Mickey. I don't know if they always do that. Love that touch. Now, as far as the first impressions goes, it looks like it has been updated because I want to say Riverside, they still have carpet. And it's pretty darn dated if you, if you ask me. But this room, French Quarter, I'm living life right now. What more do you need? Quick little scan here and we'll get into some details. Let me turn some lights on over there. I like that curtain. Light. Cool. Boom. We got the lights. Turn them on over here as well. And as much as I love this, I'm going to put it on mute. No, 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 no. There we go. I'm um actually pretty darn impressed. Let me actually look at the prices here for you guys, what it averages. Right now there's Florida discounts going on. So I think for one night, this cost me $234, which normally would have cost $270. Um, this is a standard room, so $234, $276, non-discount. For you guys, I'm not gonna include the discount. The river view is about $300, and the pool view is $320. Um, but wait you guys see this. this, this is super nice. I'm gonna move my backpack and my glasses. We've got two queen mattresses here. I'm on the first touch, they actually feel nice, but I really like the headboards and how it kind of feels very old, elegant. 
It's like New Orleans, obviously. Oh, I feel like New Orleans is, you know, it's a really old city, but what do you guys think of these headboards? And look at these lights as well. There's a detail on there, there's that. Pretty cool, nothing fancy on the walls other than this very cool painting. Look at that. I wonder if they have the same one in all of um, the rooms, but two queens, and this little end stand here, got the Bible in there, USB, two charge ports right here. There's that, phone, is there room service? I don't think there's any room service. Oh, there is room in room dining. There's another mattress. Nice little seat there, whatever you guys wanna do with that. There is space underneath the beds as well, I'll show you in a second. Coat hanger, nice old, old storage here for your clothes. Not old meaning, but you know, just, it looks old. It's cool, the fridge is gonna be ginormous. That's a big fridge. Wow, yeah, maybe standard, I don't know, it kinda looks big. What do we got here? Coffee, your ice bucket. Jaw freeze. I never use these, honestly. I never bother unless I'm really, really tired. Um, mirror, here's those curtains. Bathroom, though. The bathroom. Wait till you see the bathroom. It's just nice, like, little elegant touches. Here's this two sink faucet. Pretty standard nowadays in Disney rooms. This is different. I haven't seen, like, a sign like this. Like, being gold. Body lotion, facial soap, some more storage over there. We can have hangers and stuff. I'm in the bathroom right now. I got the extra pillow. You're safe. Oh, that's some nice detail. Good work, Disney. And here's the bathroom. It's no glass door. It is a curtain though. Oh, that's cool. Got a Princess and the Frog themed curtain. It looks better in person. I feel like it doesn't look that great on camera, to be honest. Shower is decent size. That is a nice shower head. Pretty big. You even got a nice little seat right there. Soaps are locked up. Got a nice little touch of design there. Oh, what did I do to my finger? I have no idea. Cool. Well, there's the room, guys. It's pretty nice. Oh, there's, this is nice tile as well. I like it goes from Hogwarts. This nice tile. Yeah. There we go. There is your uh, 2022 French Quarter Room. That nice. If you guys have been here for a while, you'll know whether it's cruises, whether it's these staycations. Before I do anything, I need to unpack. I am for sure an organizer before I do anything. So we're gonna unpack. I'm pretty hungry. I probably should check to see when the food court's open till. And I'm sure there's some option because there's a lot. As we go about, if you guys missed uh, one of my last days here, well, not stays when we just came here and ate, the Scats Cats Club is so nice. I love that. Yeah, we're good. The food court's open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., so we're set on that. We'll probably head over there soon because I'm so hungry. Let me unpack. One night. <laughs> Pretty standard rooms, to say the least, but I wanna head back to the lobby. I gotta get some Advil, my back hurts really bad. And then we're gonna grab uh, a, a snack. Um, a lot of you guys might, well, I think some of you guys know, my ankle losing spondylitis is really bothering me today, and Advil usually, ah, dude, it really hurts, uh, takes it away. Holy cow though, beignets is in the air. It smells so good, so good. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this with me. It's really hard passing a food court when you're really hungry. To the front desk we go. Oh, it smells so good too. It sort of kind of smells like the Polynesian in a way. Beautiful. I don't know if I asked this yet, but comment down below if you guys have stayed here before. Quick look at the beautiful main lobby. It neighbors the where we just entered, and 
Right over there, the gift shop. We'll head in there after I hopefully purchase some Advil. Honestly, now that I think about it, they're probably not gonna have Advil at the front desk. I'll probably have to end up going in the gift shop. That makes sense, because it's probably not gonna be free, right? There's a line right now. Didn't know the arcade is actually in the main lobby as well. It's over here. The more you know, right? Right, yeah. Oh, it's really small. Oh, this is a tiny arcade. At least they have one though, and it's open. A Guardians of the Galaxy pinball machine? That's cool. Oh, just kidding. It's way bigger than I thought. This is actually a big arcade for a Disney arcade. Wow, this is a big arcade. I think this is like the biggest one on property now. Okay. Dude, they have a Tron pinball machine too. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. Do you guys have Advil at all? Yes, we do. Can I buy some? It's right down there on the right hand side okay. of the wall. Thank you. It's a lovely themed gift shop. Rarely do you see like stuff up there. It's got that nice little old elegant feeling again too. It's quiet in here. All right, Advil. I need Advil. There it is. My saving grace. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I'm just add it to it. I also saw that she had stickers. I had to get a Tiana sticker. We got French Quarter. You need to celebrate. <laughs> you can just toss it. Holy cow. Man. It's like they're trying to protect the, the White House with how hard it is to open this up. Okay. Always uh, running on into you guys. I found some of you guys from uh, Boston, Massachusetts. That's right. Well, uh, Mark, welcome to Mardi Gras. Yeah. Right? Ooh, well, did you check in? Oh man, and I always run into you guys. It makes vlogging so much easier. It just puts me in like such a non-introvert mood. So thanks for saying hi. But let's head on in, maybe to the Scats Cats because this is where the beignets are. Or maybe we get that after we get our main because I think we can also get. Shade, uh, the Mickey beignets also in the main food court. We've been here before. You've, if you guys have been around my channel, you guys know if you come here just for beignets. But I gotta get something to eat. So we'll see if we can order those in here as well. If not, we just go over there and get some more. After. What do we got here? Pork sandwich, grilled chicken, chicken strips. So they call this the grill. And then we've got the bakery. Brownies, cookies, all that jazz. Pasta. And then salads to the right. But you know what? This is actually not a bad move. This might even fill me up. I kind of like these grab and goes, like these overnight oats. Delicious. I think I'm gonna get some overnight oats. This is kind of clutch, actually. I'm also not seeing a beignets, so it looks like you can only get that in the Scats Cats, but it's literally right next door. So let's get some overnight oats. I'm not too hungry, and I think beignets will also fill me up as well. It's like traditional ordering. No mobile. Who would have thought? It comes to Port Orleans French Quarter to get overnight oats. I love these. You can get these actually at every resort. They're so good. They make them overnight if you didn't know. The only thing I think it needs is just a little bit of sugar. Otherwise, it's overnight oats. But the main thing, it's healthy. Do you get normal Disney healthy food? No, you don't. Order for Kyle. There you go. How are you going? Okay. Ah, oh, I sure got a plate. Oh, rookie Kyle. It's fine. I'll get a towel instead. There's my plate. Wow. Mickey beignet on a towel. But the key is to uh, get the strawberry dip as well. They also have chocolate or caramel, but um, caramel, I, I usually say caramel, but strawberry is my favorite. I love how I'm like, yeah, I just ate healthy overnight oats to eat in beignets but Mickey beignets, and I'm telling you, the strawberry sauce is to die for. I could eat the strawberry sauce like it's soup. Zero complaints, really good. Also, Everything who do you guys watch and eat? Do you, do you probably watch me, I watch Max Tuning. I watch a lot of YouTubers. I love watching YouTubers when I eat. There's something about watching YouTubers while you eat. Yeah, just my thing. Ah, it just spilled everywhere! I kind of intended this video to be a, a tad bit longer, but 
I just kind of want to take a walk around the Sasagula River and then show you guys the pool because my back is really actually bothering me today and I kind of just want to take it easy. It's really hard for me to walk. It's just really stiff. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully it's better on the Disney Wish, but my back is really bothering me today. And it's really hard to kind of just walk. I don't know what to do. It hasn't been like this bad in like forever. But let's take a walk on the Sasagula River. Ooh, if you guys could uh, thumbs up the video right now, I'd really appreciate it. Pretty much though, my favorite time to come to a resort when nobody's here because everyone's at the parks, which makes it so peaceful. One of the best ways to get to Disney Springs, the most beautiful ways is taking this boat. I highly suggest it. Ooh, my back is really bothering me. This is, this is something else today. I rarely have these kinds of days, but I think you guys can kind of understand. I'm just gonna go back and take a nice hot shower. It's just my back is just really stiff. The Advil kind of really didn't help. I might need a muscle relaxer, but whew. yeah, Sasagula Ruth is beautiful, right? This river. Oh wow, the pool is actually popping with people. It's a relatively decent sized pool. Small slide though. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. That's cool. Yeesh, it is a hot day. And they also have a pool bar. Really cool pool bar and of course everything's Mardi Gras themed. It's very nice. I would totally go swim, but I this is unseen circumstances. My back just started hurting out of nowhere. I think you guys can understand, um, but hopefully this video um, is not on the Disney Wish. If not, um, we'll have a Disney Wish video up tomorrow. Just ran into probably some upload issues, but um, we'll see you guys tomorrow with whatever video it is. I have no idea. Thanks for watching, and um, I'm going to enjoy a bath. I think I'm going to take a bath. <sighs> okay. Bye. <laughs>